Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Karen. This is Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and we have Goose. And as you can see, we are in the Ozarks. And this past week, we posted on all of our socials. It's time for another campfire Q&A. Without a campfire though. Yeah, because it's kind of hot. It's way too hot for a campfire. <laughs> so it's, this is campsite. This is camp Q&A. Yeah, we may, we, it, as the summer goes through and we do another one of these in summer, it's going to be inside the house yeah. Q&A. Air conditioner inside. Air conditioner Q &A. Q &A. <laughs> Or we can do it up in the tent with like the zero breeze or the eco flow. I mean, wave. make it until you make it. There you go. Yeah, so we're just going to dive right in. We got a lot of questions. We did. A lot of questions. You have some. I have some. Yep. Um, we Yeah, from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all yep. the things. So, um, Salt and Sweet Tea Overland asked. Oh, they were great people. On they are. Uh, what was the number one thing you think or know contributed to your channel growth in the early stages? Anything you would change knowing what you know now? Um, sadly, I, th I think just about everybody, all of our friends, um, Rob, Sean, um, Kent, will we'll say, yeah. you know, COVID just prompted everybody to get outside, which prompted everybody to start looking up stuff on YouTube. Um, and so, and, and, and for me, sent me working from home. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was right in that time, spring of 2020, that we decided to get serious with the YouTube thing. I was working home from, but I was working from home before that. Before it was cool. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, but it was it was in that time of spring 2020 that we decided to get serious with the YouTube channel in hopes of growing it to the point where we can hit the road full time mm -hmm. in fall of 25. Um, and we have already reached that goal. Now we're just waiting for fall of 25 to get here. But uh, it, it was at that point working from home. Uh, that I decided to do two videos a week and committed to that schedule with Tuesdays being a gear review, a how-to video, an install video, that tutorial, that sort of thing, and then Fridays being a trip, trip video. And I think that was, that was a big deal because um, it was somewhere in that time, um, maybe a little bit before then, but one of the first videos that took off Mm -hmm. was a power station video. Yeah, I had bought a Jackery. You had had a Goal Zero, and you thought at that point that that was all we needed. A little Goal Zero. Yeah. yeah, and then we had another friend that had, what did Brandon and Haven have? Goal Zero 500. Yeah, so we did a comparison between the Jackery and that Goal Zero. Well, shortly after Jackery had a sale. Yeah, just coincidentally. We had no idea it was coming. Nope. Yeah, none just, of that was sponsored. We, we bought the Jackery. Goal Zero was the friends that we borrowed, yep. and it was, it blew up. And we did not, power station after we did power not know. And then we started getting power station offers and did lots of reviews. Yep. So, uh, but I, I think, I think sticking to that two video a week schedule and just, mm -hmm. you know, cranking out content that on a, on a regular schedule, um, and so like I think that what? was a big deal. In three years, you haven't missed a Friday. I have never missed a Friday. I've missed some Tuesdays. Yeah. I've never missed a Friday. So stick to that schedule. Yeah. Whatever you find what works for you and commit to that. Yep. And would I, would I change anything? I mean, I can't change COVID. I um, wish we could change COVID. But, no. Uh, I have no regrets yeah. of what we, what we chose to do. All right, next question. Also about the channel. Uh, Denisha. Denisha. Do you think the popularity of your channel has brought more people to the Ozarks for Wheeling or Arkansas in general? Love the channel. Uh, I, 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 think, I think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely... Uh, Ozarks is definitely our niche. And that, that's, that is another thing that I, has really been a, a key with the channel growing is that the Ozarks is our niche. And so it's not just every other place that most people go to. Um, the Ozarks is a little bit different and special. So We know people that have moved here. Yeah. Like legit moved here because of our videos. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah. Um, hope they love it. I think they do. <laughs> I mean, from what I hear, they do. But it's um, definitely, um, I think we've definitely had a lot of people come. We have the OAT. The OAT you know, was a big deal. Though. Because that gives people a guided route. Like a, not, not guided. That gives people a dedicated route that they can follow through the Ozarks. Yeah. And, because the Ozarks are very hard to navigate. Yeah. The, the OAT was a big deal. That That's probably gotten more people to the Ozarks than anything. Yeah. Um, next, uh, Lisa Wisdom. Uh, when you first began, we, this one's going to be interesting. Oh, uh, what does it say? Uh, when you first began wheeling and building your rig... Oh. <laughs> Did you set a budget mm. or just go wild and buy new bells and whistles? Um, asking for myself and, and, and hubby. Um, well, let's start from the beginning. So when I first got my Jeep, I kept it stock for a year. 
-hmm. and built it as needed. I went wheeling and got stuck somewhere. I didn't have a winch, so when I got home, I, I realized I needed a winch, so I started there. And a little bit later, started lifting tires, very budget, uh, with what I could do. And then it kind of, then just kind of, that was my first Jeep, just kind of built. Your first Jeep, you, said, you, you bought everything used for your two-door. Oh, yes. Yeah, you yeah. bought everything used uh, for your two-door. Some. But for your tires. Yeah, some Those of tires you didn't. But yeah. lift was used, your yeah. bumper and winch were used. Yeah. So very budget friendly. Uh, very budget yeah, built yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, my Are we going to talk about my four-door? We're getting there. Okay. Uh, my second Jeep, I, I I literally took everything off my first Jeep and put it on my second Jeep. Yeah, like over a weekend. Over a weekend. Yeah, so all that stuff carried over. So there wasn't a lot of major build stuff, even with my, my black Rubicon. Um, however, someone has a different philosophy. Her second so her second Jeep, her my, first four-door. Yeah, my first four-door, it was Imogene. It was the... Um, Anvil. Anvil. Sahara. Sahara that yeah. we had. Yeah, um... I took a loan out against my profit sharing with my company. We don't recommend this. Don't recommend that. Don't that. recommend doing this. I mean, Someone gets a little impatient. I do. I don't I don't handle that well. Um, and so, and then I bought it all. <laughs> all. All at once. <laughs> Everything. And we still have some of it. The, the light bar on my Jeep yep. is the KC light and bar. And I don't it's really still have any from regrets that. from that. No, you don't. I mean... I still don't. We still don't recommend that. I mean, you. make sure if you do that, you hold out the amount of taxes. That way, whenever you tax time, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. that way you don't get a huge. Now, with this last Jeep, with my Tuscadero, and with the Gladiator, with we, the Gladiator platform, you had to kind of start we, fresh because there well, wasn't we, a. We had to start fresh, but go, buying the Gladiator, I knew exactly what I wanted yep, to do to it. Because we've done. I knew the lift, I knew the tires, I knew how I wanted to, to outfit the bed, and that's he evolved. Didn't, he didn't do the right lift first. I got the best lift first, and then he changed. I mean, it worked for then. Um, it just, as I continued to evolve it, it, it didn't. Mm -hmm. um, but same thing, when we got your, your Tuscadero. Um, that was we we knew exactly what we wanted to do. Well, that that built. was my per my Tuscadero has been my most purposeful build that I've had with a Jeep because I didn't like I was very strategic in what I wanted. Um, I actually didn't want to get anything when I got my Jeep, and then we had an offer for a tent, and yeah. then that kind of yep transpired. If you give a Kara a tent, she'll want to lift, and if she wants to lift, she want bigger tires, and blah blah blah. If you give a mouse cookie, yeah. Okay. So there you go. Uh, started very budget, but then very intentional. Yeah. Um, Jeremy McCoy wants to know, what's part of Moab we're we doing in October? In October? <laughs> I, I wish. October is completely slammed for us. It say. is show. It is expo <laughs> after show after event. Every weekend um, we have. Every weekend. Every um, weekend. From the end of September. And birth to, we have two kids with birthdays. Yes. So, sorry, bro. We can't go to Moab in October. Which we could. Maybe another day. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Jenkins, can we get a review on the Starlink? Um, you should. Yes. Oh, uh, short review. It's great. He didn't want it. Especially if it, you have a clear view of the sky. Yeah. We do not have Starlink with us now we because have. we are covered in trees yep. and it would be pointless. I mean, Matt could put it in that corner. No, it always seems to aim for the trees. Anyway. So, but Starlink is great if you have a clear view of the sky to the trees. Yeah. Um, you didn't want it. You love it. I didn't want it, but now it's invaluable. It will be going with us because uh, I will be working while we are in... Um, Oregon next week. Yep. So, uh, let's see. Patrick, okay, Patrick, Patrick Maynard. Maynard. When are you doing <laughs> the <laughs> Hellcat swap? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not. Uh, and this is from experience with, with both Brad, who has the 392, and Sean, who has the um, the the V8 swap uh, in his Gladiator. I, I, I don't want a V8. Um, because, honestly, I, I like to drive and hear nature mm -hmm. i like to hear the streams as i'm driving by them i like to hear the birds sing that we can now it was very intimidating when sean was behind me in moab because all I, I thought like i was going too slow because all i could hear was it's loud rapping. it's so loud it's very loud but it's so amazing when it's you so crank fun. it when you it, turn it on that initial turnover yeah like if i could just like get but that it sound get, it doesn't get, it doesn't go quiet and i just I, I like that give me a nice quiet you know dependable v6 re-geared for the tires, and I'm good. So would you get an electric? Heck no. <laughs> no. Well, that's quiet. Um, and, and another issue is the V8s require premium fuel. Mm -hmm. And where we like to go, you know, remote gas stations, not all of them have premium fuel. That's also why I will not own a diesel, 
because we've been to plenty of gas stations where you can't find diesel either yep. in these remote locations. So, uh, nope, just give me a good old V6. With, if this V6 dies, I'll, I'll just swap it out for another one or just get a new Gladiator. One of the two. Uh, let's see, Clark wants to know, outside of the 100,000 followers on YouTube, Hi, Ellie. if you're not subscribed watching this, go check. Please do, because we do have that goal of 100,000 followers or subscribers on YouTube. Uh, what's your number one goal for the year? Other than sub other than followers and subscribers? Mm hmm I would say for me, um, I have a couple goals. Like, I want, I'm doing a lot of things without you. Like, me and Daniel are traveling and <laughs> we're going on our own things. Um, so just being able to learn more about my vehicle and being able, because next year with us doing the Rebel Rally, I want to be a better mechanic of my vehicle and work on my own things. Like, I installed my own lift, but, like, you know, if a U-joint breaks or something like that, like, I want to know how to repair things like that. And then, um, just to see as much as I can. Yeah, that's the big thing, is just, we, we, we are going back to places this year that we went last year but didn't really get to experience very much. We're about to leave for two weeks together for Oregon, then she's staying for another mm -hmm. three or four weeks mm -hmm. without me. Um, and then we're going back up to the Pacific, not Pacific Northwest, we're going back up to um, Colorado. Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Oh, yeah. And we're going to leave way early for that as well, to spend more time up there instead of just the event, just instead of just core. So we just, we want to just soak in more places. I think our time for like the Jeep Badge of Honor trails, minus the ones that we haven't been to, is kind of done. I, I, don't, I mean, we're going to go back, you know. There's still the places we want to, I mean, places we want to go, but I don't. I mean, we're going back to the end of July, you know, with, with Keeley. Um, to Colorado, yeah. But even after that, like, I don't have a desire to run, like, Hell's Revenge. Yeah, no. I'm sure we will, because they're fun. But I uh, also want to know what upcoming trip are you most excited about? That would be the Oregon trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we literally leave in it seven says days. Uh, because the Pacific Northwest is gorgeous. And I have, we got a taste yeah. of it last year, yep. and we want a much bigger taste this year. Yep. Yeah, because she's staying six weeks up there. I'm only staying two. Yeah, because there's going to be more than Oregon that me and Danielle see. I think we may get into the Sequoias and... Be in California. You'll go to Washington, too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Washington, California. I won't be jealous. Yeah. Uh, Scott Olson says, uh, I'm interested in the Zolio. Oh. Um, one of the videos I mentioned that you really like yours. Yep. Um, have I gotten one for my rig yet? Uh, no, I haven't. I, I may pick one up at, at PNW. You but. should. Um, I'm still rocking the, um, the the Garmin Enreach Mini, but I very much prefer the Zolio. Ian wants to know, do you have a YouTube video out on your current truck and camping gear? Yes, uh, I've actually got a lot. Just go back to the videos at the beginning of the year. I did a two-year update and you know, start there. And we need to do forward. an update of mine. We do. We do need to do an update of yours. Jeff wants to know, are you safe in a rooftop tent during <laughs> summertime thunderstorms? Let me tell you, yes. Um, I was in a rooftop tent at Maris in the worst storm I have ever been in in my life. Like there was a tornado warning and the rivers raised higher than what they had in the 90s. And lightning, Danielle's tent closed up on her because the way she was laying. Um, I was perfectly fine. Yeah, I think he's concerned about lightning. I don't think rooftop tents are like conduits. major conduits. So we, I mean, we've never had an issue. We, I would think if you had a wee boost. Good. Like, really high. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Renee, Neil said, have you ever thought about coming to Georgia? Yes. Uh, we've thought about going everywhere. But definitely want to Georgia Traverse. Georgia Traverse one sometime. Yeah. That, that's definitely up on the list. Oh, uh, Carrie wants to know, what's your favorite camp meal? I've been having a lot of cake batter protein shakes. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> that's your new one. <laughs> um, my favorite meal is one that I don't have to cook. That he cooks. Um, he can cook some amazing steaks. I say I'm having um, a I'm having an elk fillet tonight. Yeah. That's probably steaks. my favorite. Elk Danielle made some really good potatoes. She did. Whenever we were steaks. at the Patreon thing. Steak. I mean steak. Yeah. Ribeye fillet. Whatever steak is always gonna be my go-to. That's always yep. gonna be my favorite. Yep. Yep. Um, Aldo. I am not even gonna attempt to pronounce the rest. Valesco. Valesco. I don't Valesco. know. Valesco. Valesco. Sure. Uh, what brand and model of the CB radio do you recommend? None. Uh, I don't recommend CB at all. Midland GMRS radios is what we use mm -hmm. and what all of our friends use. And that question is really loaded because it all depends on where you are and the people that you're with. What do they use? I, I don't have, I ripped my CD, my CB out 
three or four years ago, and have never looked back. Have never missed it. So we use GMRS. So many people We've got use good the friends GMRS. that use ham. Um, all of my YouTube friends use ham, and we're the oddballs not using yeah. ham with them. Well, and we have like the the Midland walkie talkies. That's really nice for people mm. that are getting out and spotting. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know on the CB. If you're stuck on CB, I have no idea. But we they have do. the 575s. Yeah, but the Midland 575s are fantastic radios for GMRS. Um, uh, Shantina, besides overlanding, what else do you guys enjoy? What do we just do? Uh, play with the RCs, paddle board. Paddle boarding. Yeah. That's our new, that's our new big thing. We love to go to places, camping on the water, mm -hmm. break out the paddle hiking. boards, hiking. Um, photo, photography. photography. Yeah. yeah. I love that. All um, that. see, I have a Nintendo Switch. I love to read. You know, like, you'll never see me without my Kindle. So, I, I'm always reading. Uh, Jeremy. What's up, Jeremy? Uh, when are we gonna do? When are we going to Idaho and then the BDR? I don't know. When are we? Not this year. Maybe next year. We were supposed to do that last time a little bit, but yeah, not the BDR, but more time in Idaho. Idaho. Um, I don't know, but I definitely want to. Um, my, you know, Will yeah. with we'll get you to Rome. He, he had an epic time on the BDR. So, um, Sean wants to know if you had to pick one week of the year to run the Ozarks, when would that be, and why? Uh, I would say third week of April, because water. It's because water crossings and waterfalls are everywhere. Um, I, I love springtime in the Ozarks. It's my favorite. I would say sometime in November as well. Because you're not dealing with as much ticks and it's fall. It's kind of cool. Um, as long as you time it right. Because in Arkansas we have something we call the false fall. <laughs> yeah. You think it's coming, but then it becomes 90 degrees out of nowhere. Yep. Uh, Matterson says, I've heard that you and Kara have kids. Mm -hmm. um, just out of the house. Not Actually, quite. we have two in the house. Yeah. One just now leaving the house. Yep. So we have two in the house. Uh, did you, as a family, go camping, trail riding while the kids were growing up? Um, I, I did. Um, I took my kids out mm -hmm. camping, and, and they loved being the Jeep when they were young and top off, doors off around town, uh, going out and hitting the trails, camping and stuff. They loved doing that. Yeah, we're, we're a blended um, family. So he has three girls, and I have a daughter, and I've taken Kelsey out. She... My daughter, she actually, when she was younger, we went, um, I used to go through the mud a lot more than I do now, and she got dirty, and she said that mud wasn't her color. Um, yes. So. That's not her favorite thing to do. But she does like to go out, and she likes to go off-roading, um, the more technical things, and I think Keely does that too. Oh, that's her favorite thing. She gets bored if we're yeah. just on planet. And Sophie's cool roads. if there's water, mm -hmm. but now they've become, Now like, they're all teenagers, teenagers and they drive, and they have jobs, so, Yeah. yeah. Um, Katie, Argo, when did you get into overlanding? Uh, what do you love most about it? Advice for people getting into it. Um, I just got into it naturally after I got the Jeep. Um, I got my first Jeep in 2012. You got yours in 2015? Mm -hmm. 2014? 2014. Yeah, yeah, 2014. Um, I got mine in 2012 and just then started falling in love with exploring the Ozarks and seeing amazing places and then added camping overnight in the mix of my trips and boom overlanding um we didn't know that's what it was yeah it I wasn't say. it wasn't part of the popular phrase like it is now then yeah now it's um, so back then uh, love most about it i just love seeing new places and places that most people don't get to see because they never get off the pavement i like being disconnected from electronics yeah as much as, as possible we're, we're on the phone doing this q &A. well <laughs> you're not connected <laughs> i'm not connected there's no cell, there's no cell signal <laughs> Uh, advice getting into it, just go. Yeah. Just just take what you have. If you've got basic camping gear, Four just just go. If you've got a car, just go to a state park. Just get out and start with what you have. And you have to have a rooftop tent. Figure out take your a needs. hammock. Yeah, hammock, ground tent, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Just go. Yeah. Um, just, just go and figure it or out. Or if you, you don't even want to do that, go hike for a day. I just There's so much. Like I hate the term overlanding or you know, off-roading or anything like that. Like, don't define it. Just experience it and enjoy it. And don't try to have everything you need that everybody thinks you have to have. Like, just get out the side. Yeah. Uh, Troy wants to know, do you have a fun button in your rigs? You I don't used know if, to. I don't know. Are you referring to my fun switch that I used to have in my JK? In my JK? Um, a lot of people don't we even do, know what that is, so yeah, explain that. I, I, I had a fun switch in my JK, both my JKs, which the, the JKs, would you could not fully disable traction control, especially in two-wheel drive. So it was a, a, a switch that I tied into the traction control, and when I flipped the switch, it cut all of it out. 
Um, and so I had one of those in my JK, and that was a, that was a lot of fun. So you can, you know, when you got snow Especially or in, in your mud, snow, yeah, you could do donuts, and it was, it was great. I uh, don't have one of those in either of our rigs now. Honestly, I don't even know how to wire that in now. I'd be worried um, with all the jail. Yeah, I'm not sure. But if that's what you mean, no, not in our current rigs. But I do have a fun lever, which is four-wheel drive and four-low. <laughs> that's fun. Just... Justine or Justin? Is that Justine? I think it's Justine. Justine. Uh, what does it Sorry take it's not. to do the high water run with your group? group? Um, that's okay. Let's. There's we get two asked. Things, yeah. <laughs> we get asked all the time for you know people. Hey, we'd love to hit the trails with you. Blah, blah, you know that sort of thing. And here's the thing. Obviously, we're not just going to tell strangers on the internet. Yeah, come on, let's go. Um, yeah, we don't know your rig. We, we don't know your driving. We like to yeah. get to know people first. Yeah. So um, that that's key. So uh, what does it take to run the high water run with us? Uh, first, become our friend. <laughs> um, let's get to know you. Because you may be weird. <laughs> you may not like us. We may be weird to you. Goose, you may not um, like us. So that, that, that's key. Relationship. Relationship. <laughs> All right, Peter Wilson wants to know, if you had to change three things about your gladiator... What would you change and why? Oh, I know one. <laughs> you would fix the damage. I mean, I could, but I haven't yet. I know. I think that's another question later. Um, I, I I love my Gladiator setup so much. You didn't even think you wanted this I, fight. I don't. Um, I didn't. I don't know. What do you... I, I, I don't know that I would change anything. What do you think I'll change? I, if it was my Gladiator, I'd chop the bed. But I then, chopped the bed no, and that, I have my trailer. That's because you're a rock crawler. I'm not, no, because if you chop the bed, then I you can't put the tent on it. To ha exa fine. It's not your gladiator. If I was, that's no question for me. Mm, no, if you had to okay. change, no. Uh, I, honestly, I don't think I'd change anything. I chop love it. it so much. I mean, chop it's always it. evolving. Um, Get rid of that long wall. Yeah. No, I love it. I, I love the butt hanging off of it and everything. Um, so I'm sorry, Peter. I can't answer it. I don't have three things to change. Uh, I would not change anything. But other than, you know, it just keeps evolving. But, no, I love it. Um, Cyrus wants to know, is it legal to do recreational shooting in the National Forest outside of hunting season? Is that a reference to the video that we shot with the Patreons where they were shooting like crazy? Maybe. <laughs> um, in the Ozarks, yes. In Arkansas, in both the National Forest and Arkansas, yes. I'm not sure about every other National Forest. But in the Ozarks and the Washtaws, Yes, it is legal as long as you're not shooting across a road or within. I don't know. There's there's some regulations, but bottom line is yes, you can. I, I've actually brought firearms to the Ozarks and we've had fun shooting responsibly. Yeah, yeah. like if you're shooting, pick up your can, brass. Yeah, you pick up all that stuff. But yeah, but uh, in the Ozarks, yes. I don't know about other national forests, but yes. Be mindful if it is hunting season. Yeah, Jeep Willie, where did you get the gearbox on your bed rack? Um, uh, Harbor Freight. It's a it's an Apache Apache case, mm -hmm. Apex case, Apache case. Oh no, Harbor you Freight. It, you wanted a Plano box, it, but then you got that. No, um, no, I was really gonna get a Pelican case. Oh, that that's what I meant. Yeah, Pelican case, but they weren't available, so I just ran to Harbor Freight. It was like sixty bucks. I think we got that at Springfield. We did. Yeah, <laughs> we got it. Yeah, we did. Um, okay, here we go. Yeah, Mark, do you plan on getting your Gladiator fixed where you hit the rear left panel? Eventually, probably. I'm not in a rush. I kind of like the Band-Aid. Um, but uh, the question is, because by the time this video comes out, the Bird Flow video will have been out. And so I'm not the only one with body damage now. Nope. But there's there's currently not a Band-Aid on yours. Nope. But, but there's about to be some But we're, we're getting some new armor for the side yep. of hers that will cover it up. It's not going to fix it, Demo but it will. Later. It will cover it up. So a little so, bit of it. I'm not the only one with body damage now. If you haven't seen the bird flow video of her wheeling the hardest trail down there, go check it out. I got dimples. Yep, she got damage there too, and she she started to cry. I did cry. You did cry, but then you said, "Oh, that's not too bad." That's because I thought it was sounded so bad, it sounded and then bad. everybody goes, "Oh." Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, here's another kind of COVID uh, question. Uh, Joyce, back in 2020, you couldn't find a dispersed campsite because everyone was out camping. That was a challenge. Uh, do you think it's gotten less crowded now? That people can choose other ways to to vacation. Yes, but I still think there's more people out than there was pre-COVID. I think you know COVID big surge of people 
got outside and started doing the stuff. And some people loved it. And some people loved it and, and stayed. Uh, yeah. But now more people are going back to the beach and, and on I, cruises and all that stuff. And so. I think that's also like more so towards like national parks even. Like some people, uh, their idea yeah. of getting out was like at the national parks and like yes. that kind of thing. So I still think that those are still crowded. He's like. Is he snoring? Yep, he's, he's snoring. He, like it's, they're still crowded there. The, I think the woods and out in the Ozarks and stuff like that, the national forest are not as bad. Um, weekends They've obviously gotten, are still yeah. heavier, but um, like I've gone out twice now. I haven't seen a salt. Yeah. During the week. I think I think a lot of people just I don't know. I think some people went back to the ways that they were. Yep. Uh, Tony wants to know. I haven't seen anything on on your light bar mm. inside your good inside your eyes, windshield. Tony. Some yeah. People don't even notice Except that. We need to do an update to walk around. Oh, we do. We do. We got a lot of changes. So on. I have the oh. it's the Quadratex Stealth light bar. Um, I really like it. I wanted. I'd love to have, in a perfect world, kind of, I'd love to have the KC light bar, because I, ha I have all KCs. But I do like the idea of the Quadratech being... I mean, there's a chance in the future you can have it back. I do like the idea of the Quadratech being on the inside, and it's amber and white light. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. So, I don't know. I'm just, I kind of like it. I'm just waiting for Morimoto to I'm release in, their big bangers. I'm incognito. Yep. Since Morimoto releases their big bangers, that Casey light bar's coming down. Is it? Yep. Listen to him. You gonna want it down? Hold on. You gonna want it back? Let's listen. <laughs> He's snoozing. Yeah. Tony also says I haven't seen any new real world Overlander videos. Uh, yeah, we we started doing those, thinking those would be just good content. You know, keeping up with that two two video a week schedule, um, and then just the channel started growing and more and more demands and just more and more content to be made. And I so think we, we should. I think we should do some more with me learning my vehicle and like I changed my oil the other day for the first time and I did the five tire rotation. You did. You could have done that. That was a lot of work lifting that tire on that back. <laughs> I had a step stool and everything, but I did it. Uh, Brian wants to know: taking all jeeps out of the mix, what vehicle would you like to build for overlanding, new or old? Oh, look what Danielle says. Yes, Danielle says uh, a Defender 110. That's because of my RC car. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, no Jeeps. No Jeeps in the mix. What I would pick... FJ40. I wouldn't go that old. That's that's not reliable for overlanding. Oh. It's for, for overlanding. That, that a thing? Yeah. What, what would you build up? What vehicle would you build up for overlanding? I would build up... It um, is new or old. Right, but for overlanding. I'd still do FJ40. Uh, or a CJ. Or an 83. I'd take an do 83 you overland in a CJ? Mm -hmm. That's not I'd, practical. I'm, I'm not really an you're overlander. Gonna, you're going to have to eat Lunchables <laughs> and you know, there's not even room, room for a fridge um, <laughs> in a CJ. I would go with probably an 80 series Land Cruiser because Cruiser. I think that's, isn't that the last, I think that's the last Land Cruiser with a solid front axle. I think the 100 series, they Did switched to IFS. Did you see Toyota's coming out with a new Land Cruiser? Eh. Did you see that? Eh. Uh, nothing, it, nothing, toy, nothing new from Toyota excites me because they're playing it safe. They're just playing it safe. Give me a front locker and I'll get excited. No, Toyota, they don't think you need a front locker because reasons. Um, so no, give me a classic. Give me an eighty series Land Cruiser, and I would build that sucker out for overlanding. That'd be awesome. FJ forty. Okay. Or Defender one ten. Okay, a Defender would be sweet. Um, are we going to Scott wants to know? Are we going to Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion? Yep. Yes, we are. It's going to be our first time. Never been. We'll be there. Be nice. Um, her Jeep will be in the Mile Star Tire booth. Yep. That's With my trailer? Mountain. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, we'll be there. Come say hi. Um, Sean wants the to know. Story till now. <laughs> who's your favorite YouTuber friend? Um, oh, look, Regina and, and then Regina followed. commented, ooh, I know, I know. Um, so, our favorite YouTuber friend in Canada is Sean. And Casey. Um, and Casey. We haven't actually met Casey in person, though. True. Just a lot of Discord chats. Uh, I've not but, even talked to him. True. Um, so, favorite our, our favorite YouTuber friend in Canada is Sean. Sean. Our favorite YouTuber friend in California is Brad Regina. Our favorite YouTuber friend in Idaho is, is Will. Will. Um, our favorite YouTuber friend in Kentucky is Rob. Rob. Our favorite YouTuber friend in, in Utah is Justin. Be mate, Brad. Yep. Um, are, we out of, are, we out of, um, are we out of states? Um, no, Cody Wample. Where are they? I think they're in North Carolina. I think they're. I can't remember where they live. Oh gosh. So that's why I can't remember where they live. I don't know, but it's good to have YouTuber friends everywhere. Yeah, we do. 
Um, Arkansas Van Life says, if you could go back when you're starting out, what advice would you give yourself and things you would do differently? Go more. Mm -hmm. Go more often. Mm -hmm. Don't let it. Don't let yep. anything of often. your build hold you back. Yep. Your build is a lot more better than you will ever be as a driver. You need to learn that experience. So yep. get out and go as often I as you can. I would have gone more, more often in more places. Yep. yep. Recon Tiger. We switched over to um, I was say, I don't YouTube. Know that we switched over to YouTube usernames here. Recon Tiger. <laughs> if you could only take one of your adventures for your entire life, which one would it be? One of our past adventures? Yeah. Mine would be our 2020 Colorado trip. The first one? No, the 2020, where we did Madonna, Tin Cup, Taylor, mm. Pearl, mm. Schofield. Mm -hmm. um, I, that, that I, if I could only pick one and to do it over and over and over again, I'd do that one. That was one of my favorite routes we've ever done. My favorite would have to be this past one in Moab. Even though Moab isn't really one that I really love because it's so hot there and... Like, it's not as pretty as Colorado, but just the experience of conquering Pritchett and being able to wheel with Sean and, I don't know, just that was really special. Yeah. Uh, Backwoods Bullet, what's your favorite trail you run? Is it Pritchett? Okay, so that could be so many different things. So, favorite trail as in beautiful, favorite trail as in technical. I love Golden Spike I do in too. Moab. That is my favorite trail, Golden Spike. So, Poison Spider, Golden Spike, Gold Bar Rim. That would whole you, day, I would love. That you would the, say that your favorite, favorite trail over any in Colorado? Yes. Really? Yes. Even more than Taylor going through that creek? Yes. Wow. Yeah. I love that trail. It's got everything. And it's got beautiful views all around it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, what's yours? Um, would Taylor be yours? I really like Taylor. It's I hard. I like Taylor. Um, I can wheel the tri I can wheel Gold Bar Rim year round. You're, sh you're cut off from Taylor for a Except for like and two see, months. I think that makes it special. I know it's it's a beautiful trail. I do love Taylor. Probably my favorite in Colorado. Yeah, it's the favorite um, place. You can have favorites everywhere. Would we collab with Lifestyle Overland? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's another trail. Lifestyle Overland. The High Country. Oh, the High Country trail. With all the, we did the flowers the flat tops up there. Yeah. That was beautiful. Um, we love. Kevin yeah, and well, we love Kevin and, and Sarah. Uh, but we have not had the chance, obviously, to wheel with them yet. We've only met them and so, talked to them at Expo. Yep. Kevin and I talked. Um, Midnight Sun, uh, when you're doing vehicle upgrades, well, you such as re-gear or larger tires, how do you go about finding a tuner to make the, the proper changes? I'm assuming you're talking about Jeeps here. I have I mean, no there's idea so many what good any ones. of that means. Yeah, there's so many good ones. I mean, we use tasers. We've got tasers oh, in both of our rigs. that's what I mean um, Yeah, we used to have... A tuner? Um, that's a tuner? That's a tuner. Oh, yep. little did I know. Um, we used to have the speed... What's it? What did we used to have? What did you have mm -hmm. in, your, in your last JP? There's a taser... Um, um, there's there's any of the well-known ones. J-Scan is a good one. It's cheap, and you can use it from your phone. I can't remember. Um, J-Scan's a good app, so any of them, honestly. We, just, we use Taser. Um, la, let's see. Second Nature of Land. Long-time fan of the channel. Thank you. Uh, we're heading to the Ozarks next week. Have fun. It's hot. Bring bug spray. Um, and unfortunately, we're only able to spend a day there. Um, we're done. I think I cut off some of that. Oh, there we go. Uh, definitely going to see Car Wash Falls. Um, if you could only spend a day on the trails, what other points of interest would you recommend? Um, going by Bub's Cabin, mm. Build Cabin. That's such a beautiful trail. Get there and go on a Saturday when he's there. God, he's just got so many cool stories to tell. Um, going over Pilot Rock is Here fantastic. Art definitely Art Cafe or General Store. Um, I think yeah, I think you got some good stuff there. Uh, Papa Smurf Overland. Hey. Um, notice you had a sunken mount for your, your case. Yep, we mentioned that earlier. Um, is it permanently mounted? Uh, I mean, it's it's bolted on, so I can take it off. And is the case permanently mounted to it? It's also bolted on. Uh, that bracket came from Extrusion Overland. So, have you ever come across a lockable quick mount, quick release? No. I mean, the case is lockable. Pelican cases are lockable. So I can put a padlock on it, but... Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the mount, it's all bolted on. So if someone had the time, they could come out here and unbolt it. If they wanted to. If they had the right Allen key. Um, Wilson, I like this question. What's your favorite book in the Bible? Um, and favorite story? Yeah. That's easy. James. I love the book of James. Because it just, it, no matter where you are in life, James will slap you in the face and straighten you out. I like Ruth. Mm. 
That's just my favorite, but my my favorite story is probably um, Elijah whenever he's going up against the gods of Baal and he tells the um, have your gods come in get this fire and they can't do it but his god can. Mm -hmm. Fishing and outdoor adventures. Uh, what's your favorite trail for a two-day trip with at least one water crossing and a good overlook? Oh, I must be talking about the Ozarks. Um, Go to Pilot. I mean, Pilot Rock and Pilot cross Rock. the Big Piney. Go up Pilot Rock or Mountain. Or White Mountain. White Rock. Uh, White Rock Mountain's good. And then you could do the water crossing from there. I mean, there's so many. Wow. We're known for water crossings in the Ozarks, so do that. Throw in a overlook. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> MCC Adventure. Um, curious, what camera do you use to film with? Hmm. I'll notice that your mobile app service this year used the same camera as Sean. Uh, no, not the same. You were using Sean's in a video, probably, and they saw it. Well, no, Sean and I were facing each other, and Sean said we had the same camera. But uh -huh. Sean's actually shoots with the A7S III, and we actually own a, the Sony A7 IVs. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we opted to go with the four over the S3 because the, we both love photography as well, mm -hmm. and it's kind of a general all-around Camera. camera. It does great but just stellar photos. It does great video. You actually had ordered the A7S III. I had ordered the A7C. Oh, okay. The and then I got the yeah. A7 IV in. I liked it better. He shot his daughter's graduation yep. pictures and he was just like, okay, I want this camera. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the best video quality is going to come from the A7S III. Shack, shack, shack a bob? Shack a bob. Uh, if you wanted to remain remote for extended period of time, two to three months, and funds were available, would you choose Power Wagon over Jeep? No, no, because no, we're gonna be remote. We we we're gonna take. We like the real technical trails to get remote. Yeah, you're gonna be able to want um, to get. Bigger. I mean, the power wagon's super crazy comfortable, but we're just we would always pick Jeep. I like the smaller, the midsize, because we can fit down more trails, mm -hmm. um, and we have more options. Now I we will can carry say more stuff in the power wagon. I will say Kelly with Cody Wombo, he has a power wagon, and he has the skinny guy camper on the back, and it's really nice how he has that all decked out. It is, but he's still very much limited to what trails they can get down yep uh chris Schwa swadoba what do you guys do listen to on the long highway drives i listen to audiobooks i have gotten my earlier this year i started listening to um the jack Carr terminalist series and i got hooked i've listened uh, there's a brand new one that just came out right You're in welcome. time for my oregon trip You're welcome. and i will be listening to that on the, the way to oregon and back i listen to all kinds of books on audible she does and also watch um, TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do. I, I do catch up on YouTube while uh, I'm driving yeah. those long trips too. We're I mean, it's more listening, just, less watching. It is like yeah. it's, it's, it's. That's all we're gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Um, John D. Second question. Where was the first question? Um, do you or anyone in your normal group have any bushcraft knowledge in case of? Washouts, or getting stuck in storms, uh, just in case, you know, kind of S at the fans kind of thing um, that requires you to stay put for an extended period of time. Um, I do a little bit. I mean, I can start a fire. I, I we we keep what well supplied. Of, what, do, what do you consider bushcraft knowledge? Um, making a shelter, starting a fire. Um, like the alone people, the people off of alone. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to rub two sticks together to start a fire. I've got a flint and steel to cheat um, to start a fire. But I, I think I, several of us have rudimentary skills. I mean, I've, I've watched enough Survivor Man and Bell, Bell Grylls. I think I can handle it. Just kidding. Um, I, I I think I'd be good. Yeah. I can, I can, I can skin an animal. He's pretty for, handy. For he's pretty handy. Um, let's see. Julian Lincoln's, uh, or Lincoln's. Julian. Julian. That's our patron. Oh, yeah. Um, any future plans to venture into Canada soon or in the coming years? Yes. Um, and we have an open invitation with Sean to come up there to British Columbia. Oh, and we that. will. Move, that may be a next year thing. Yeah. It's just, it's so far. There's um, so much there's to just do. so much. Yeah. So little um, time. Matt Sword, have you ever seen a full-side rig tackle the stuff you do in your Jeeps? Uh, yes. Yeah. We have. It's not easy. And a lot of them don't you're, care about paint. No, you can't care about your paint. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, you can you can squeeze a full size rig down most trails. Now he says on in his next part, he says I'm asking because I've never seen to see any full size truck on hardcore trails. Do they just not make the mods for them? I, I will say I I've know. never seen like a full size on Pridget. I've not. I no, mean, there, there was, was that, that video of that dually. There was a video they of the broke, dually like, that 
but broken they broke everything, everything and they did it but yeah. they didn't do it well um, yeah i mean for for hardcore trails you just want something small and nimble and yeah. my gladiator's pushing it for that honestly yeah. And I mean, um, as far as like through the Ozarks and stuff, that goes back to the question um, about the power wagon. It's just not going to fit in a lot of places. David K, do you know of anyone that uses a 12 slash 24 volt air conditioner for more than three consecutive days at a time in an off-grid situation? How do they maintain battery charge? Uh, no, I've never used a, the only battery. The only AC we've used is Zero Breeze and the EcoFlow Mark II. Um, wave two. EcoFlow Wave two, yeah. Um, the EcoFlow Wave two. Um, I don't know anybody that's actually taken a small air conditioner with them. I've, I've seen it done, but I don't know anybody that's done that. Um, Justin Ritchie, have any of you built your own mods? And if so, pros and cons. I, you know, Fab let's Skills. Talk, let's fab talk skills. about that one time you tried to build the, the water port. I mean, it worked eventually. After he nearly blew himself up. I did. I tried to make a, a pressurized water shower I wanted a water thing. port that and you, you see them. If you look, look them up, I wanted the water port. Yeah, we do have one because, it's, yeah. I, I made a bomb. I didn't mean a, to. You made a pipe bomb. I, I, was, I was pressurizing it and it exploded Very right loudly. in my face. And it luckily it, it blew out away from me instead of toward me. It would have been Otherwise really I would have been in the ER. Um, it was bad. We were still finding shards of PVC on our three mile blocks walk. away days later so, so that's a con I, I wish i had fab skills <laughs> i really wish i had welding fab skills but the best i've got is and there's a video of it um a little um wooden divider thingy to organize in the back of my jk that, that's about as good as i got which was still not very good hey it worked great it was fantastic functional to him and liz great is to me is two okay things. so my grandfather <laughs> who i called papa my grandfather had a saying there's the right way, there's a the wrong way, and then there's Charlie's way. <laughs> he lived his life by that. I pretty much adopted that. There's the right way, there's a the wrong way, and there's Matt's way. It's not pretty, but it always gets the job done. I like the right Fact? way. There you go. I don't like even Matt's way. Me don't know. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Ray, how do you secure your gear and vehicle accessories from would-be thieves when you're away? I, I don't. If, if they want to come, if they want to come take my propane tank, they can come take my propane tank. Yeah. Uh, they want to come take my little traction board, they can come take those. If they want to take my rotor packs, they can take those. If they got time and they, they could come to take my tent. Uh, I don't. I have insurance. Um, I'm not going to worry about... I, I'm all about efficiency, and I, I'm not going to get bicycle cables and bolt them all down, and I'm not just messing with up. So, I could, but I don't. I will say that I've never had an issue. Never had anything stolen from me. We've we've had some friends have their trailer stolen. We did. And oh, I will say... Go away have don't don't leave your trailer anywhere where it can be taken i'm not naive enough to think that there's not bad people or have some type of gps tracking system mm -hmm. on it yeah um let's see a a just a just a. Mm -hmm. a i'm taking my grand cherokee trailhawk to the ozarks oh, yeah. good luck um how will it fare um it'll be fine it'll be He's fine you got a snorkel um there's some some water crossings have some big rocks in them, so you're gonna have to watch out for that because the ground clearance. But I think you'll be fine. I think you'll find a lot of stuff. I think you'll find a lot of stuff you can do. And he'll be having an air conditioned seat. Yes, he will. Steve uh, Connor, when you're doing a water crossing, how do you know when it's uh, too deep to go through it? I, I get out and walk it. Mm -hmm. I've shown that. I've, I just I just take off. Sometimes from the water. you don't, and then you have issues. That's the mud holes. I know, but you should still check them. Yeah, I do that now. Um, I just I walk it. If I can't see the bottom and don't know, I'll just walk it. I'll just get wet. I don't care. Even when it's winter time. It's, Facts. Yeah. Um, out of office camping. Will we see it at Overland East? I think so. I'm thinking so. I think so. We don't have definitive plans yet, but I think so. Mm -hmm. How has Kara lost all the weight? That's pretty incredible. <laughs> That's a random question. Um, we actually, I get a lot of messages like that on Facebook and Instagram. And first off, thank you so much. And thank you for the words of encouragement. Um, so back last May, I decided to have the gastric sleeve. Um, I'm going to be 40 in December. Oh, I'm kind of dreading that. Um, but my whole life, I've struggled with my weight. I've lost weight on and off 100 pounds multiple times. Um, and I've just always gained it back. And I don't want the next 40 years of my life to look like the struggle that I've had for the whole first 40. Um, 
So yeah, I had the gastric sleeve, and it is a tool. It is not an answer because it is not a fix all. It's not. You it's still just got a, the cravings. You still got the the struggle, but it's it's a tool. It's very hard because yep. it's very mental. And I'm in the gym now, um, about at least three four days a week. Yeah, if not more, no. I was yeah I was doing you were elite three chunks. four times a day. Yep, <laughs> yep. I was uh, and I got a little tired of that, and so um, but now I'm about four to five times a week in the gym, and then I'll have a full marathon at the end of the year, and I did a half marathon. Um, so just a lot of exercise. Mega dedication. A lot of yeah. Now she's mega dedication. Once she sets her mind to something, she doesn't quit. Now I'm so. like monitoring macros because again. Yeah. You still have to be on top of it. Yeah. But I, I've lost almost 100 and, 125, 130 mm -hmm. pounds. Um, another reason to subscribe to the channel. Uh, she the, the big goal with losing mm -hmm. weight was to go skydiving. Yeah, because everything has so, weight limits. And yeah. even She's never skydiving. been below the weight limit to skydive, and she is now. And so when we were in Oregon, we are mm -hmm. going skydiving. That will be in a video. So no, we're now pretty watch freaked me not out. Make we're, the weight we're limit. pretty freaked out about it. Um, cause I hope I make the weight limit. Every you will. that's the thing. Like every you state will. skydiving weight limit different. Yeah. So subscribe because we're going skydiving. Find out if we make it. And if I get the weight see limit. See if we survive. <laughs> uh, John D, where where's the full size rig guys? Never seen them in your videos. Yeah. Um, none of my friends have full size rigs because Ozarks aren't full size friendly. I mean, um, we have some forerunners, and we have we had a Colorado, and then he size. even got. I know. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah. That's the biggest we've ever had, and then they even got Jeeps. Yep. So. All of our friends that used to have non-Jeeps now have Jeeps. Because Jeeps are awesome. Um, let's see. Wilkie's Adventures. Are off-road parks just lazy man's overlanding? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, no. Uh, we'll get into that. Where do you draw the line between a trail rig and an overland rig? That's a good question. And do you think most people overbuild or overbuy to their actual usage? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll break this down. Um, are off-road parks just lazy man's overlanding? No. Uh, off-road parks are not overlanding. Off-road parks is off-roading. Um, overlanding is a completely different animal. Now, we love off-road parks. Mm -hmm. And I think off-road parks we are actually a have great a trail. place. Four, uh, four Fingers at yeah, the Hot Springs. That's sponsored by us. Yeah. Um, but we we love off-road parks. But we go to off-road parks to the test tech. new modifications. And like when we get a new rig, we'll go there quite a bit to learn the rig. Mm -hmm. So an off-road park is a great place to learn your rig and its capabilities for when you're out in remote locations. Or even if you've like just recently um, installed a lift. And you exactly. want to dial all that in. Yep. We, we did. We immediately That's took we ours did. out there. Uh, where do you draw the line between a trail rig and an overland rig? Um, I think as soon as it's no longer drivable on the highway and you have to trailer it, it's not an overland rig anymore. That's the whole thing because you're driving. That's part of what, that's what overlanding is. Um, but uh, as soon as you have to trailer it places, it's no longer an overland rig. Um, I don't like labels. <laughs> do you think most people overbuild or overbuy? Um, probably. Yes. Yes, I think they do. Yeah, I do. I think they do. Because people don't realize what they are capable of, and they go out and they buy all the things that people say that they need, and next thing you know, they've, you know, built a vehicle that they don't even know what they needed, and they start selling things. I've done that. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's really you get caught up in that here in the U.S. And not um, only that, like, even with the bigger Jeeps that are built up huge and have the 40s and the swaps and all of the stuff that can do so much, you lose part of the challenge in, in conquering just basic things because you can just run over everything. And so I think it's it's nice to just get what you need mm -hmm. because then it's just it gives you a little bit more of a, a challenge. Yeah. Uh, Salinas, Salinas 06. I'm starting to set up my Overland rig, a 2008 Sequoia. Nice. Um, high hopes to hit the ground running... Um, question one, we live in Colorado. Are there any beginner spots that you'd recommend where my stock vehicle can handle the trails? Uh, Uray, Colorado, Alpine Loop, mm -hmm. stock rig handle that, no problem. And it's gorgeous, mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. Two, have you ever had any problem with four-legged creatures or even two-legged creatures um, with two little kiddos? Uh, protection, protection. protection. Uh, we have, I've never had an issue with an animal, except for a raccoon getting in my trash. <laughs> Never had an issue. I mean, we've seen bears. They they're scared of humans. They don't eat humans. The only the only place you're going to have an issue with animals is if you're in like national parks and state parks where they are used to people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, unless you're hiking Canada and come upon a grizzly and their cubs, it, you're not going to have a problem. It doesn't ever hurt to carry bear spray. I mean, yeah, 
I mean, that's definitely, but no. Um, my, my biggest concern when we're out is two-legged people. There's two-legged variety of, of stupid of stupid issues at camp. Yeah. Um, Which and, we have and yes, encountered. We have protection for that. Uh, Lane Thomas, after spending time with the story till now, um, was it everything you thought it would be prior to meeting them? Um, Sean is every bit of who he is on camera in person. Um, there's no difference between what you see on camera and who he is in person. Sean is genuine. Mm -hmm. He, we love him so much. He is a dear friend, and um, he's like a brother. His his daughter Ellie is just sweet as can be. His wife, she's great. Um, but no, uh, Sean is everything that you see in the videos. That yeah. he's just real. Uh, actually, everybody is. Mm -hmm. um, Justin's just like he is. Brad's just like he is. Um, well, you're not Rob's just like yet, he is. Been... Yeah, everybody's just very genuine. Yeah. I haven't met anybody who's fake on camera and, and different. Maybe that's because so. we just aren't into that crowd. Maybe. <laughs> um, Two Rivers, when you both go on the road full time together, where's the first couple of places you want to go? I already said that. What did you say? New York. <laughs> New York? That's not Overlandy. <laughs> She does. Um, to New York. I, I do. I've just never been to New York. We yeah. need to go before we On the road full way. time, we're going to go to New York. Um, so Sleep in our rooftop I want to go Central Park. to Montana. Well, see, here's the problem. And this is the, this is the struggle that I'm facing with this. When we hit the road full time, it's going to be fall of 25. That's when all the mountain places shut down mm. because of snow. So I think we're going to be forced to go to Arizona, Southern or California, New Mexico, New Mexico, um, those areas just because of timing. Cause it's going to be fall of 25 when we're on the road full time. And what about Maine? Colorado. I mean, they get snow up there. Do they? Yeah. I'm okay with Florida. Florida. Well, we can, there's, there's a, a beach. There's a Florida adventure trail now. You go down there. Let's see. Uh, we'll see. Matthew wants to know, have you, uh, I've heard you say multiple times, anything but rough country. Ha, it's true. Um, what feels or shapes those remarks? Uh, Experience. I'm yawning. Everything I have owned from, everything I have owned, everything my friends have owned from rough, rough country has been total crap. It's been rough. Uh, bushings have failed prematurely, shocks failed prematurely, springs are just like riding on boards, they're so stiff. See now, I have heard they've gotten better, um, and they've gotten better with their shocks. I don't know. I, here's the thing. Don't cheap out on a lift. Mm. Do not go cheap on the most important thing that determines ride quality and handling. Just don't do it. Rough Country is cheap for a reason. I want to try once. Yeah, the, especially on your lift. Just get a good quality lift because if you don't, you're going to be buying it later anyway. Or you're going to be spending money Save twice. up. Save up. Yep. It's not going to hurt you to wait if you can't mm. afford it. Spearman Jeep Adventures. Really? Really, Adam? Really? How does it feel to have your wife out with you? Let me know. This is a good question. How does it feel, babe? It doesn't bother me at all. We yeah. have different rigs. I know. Your Jeep does things differently than my Gladiator does, so it doesn't bother me at all. So you're saying it's about the rig capability and not the drivers? Yes, we're both excellent drivers. But I'm choosing to wheel a... I'm smarter because I'm Because you choose to wheel a Wrangler? Yeah. No, we just have different preferences. You like hardcore rock cragling, and that's how your Wrangler's built. I like overlanding. That's how my Gladiator's built. But we both can do and love... I can overland just as well as I could rock climb. Rock? Not as comfortable as my Gladiator. It's the same. No, it's not. I got more storage. I got bigger. The storage, place. yes, I have a trailer. Oh, now. <laughs> but you can't go places in the trailer that I can just go in the gladiator. Yeah, I put a little spot for my trailer and then I go. But then you can't, then your shit's back that way. I'm, I'm camping up that way. Well, that's just a change in route. <laughs> I like your question, anyway, Adam. Yeah. Um, another one from, from Adam. I actually got three from Adam. Good grief. Uh, what's your. Most favorite upgrade can't be your bed rack that you've done to the Gladiator. Um, your lift. I mean, I love my lift. And your I tires do love my lift. I love my lift and tires. Oh, uh, and the I'm shocks. a big fan of uh, gosh, too. the Elka shocks. The Elka shocks is my favorite thing because oh, you can dial those in. I love. So my I socks. would say that's a whole. Yeah. I would say the lift, the suspension. Yeah. I also love my HW drawers and seat delete now too. Oh yeah. So it's all. I mean, it's a package. Okay. Um, also from Adam, what did you and Kara do before you went full steam into YouTube? Well, Kara still does. Kara still does pharmacy. <laughs> and I, mean, I still do 
still do pharmacy because um, we got to have insurance. <laughs> yeah, for insurance. She's working for the insurance. Yep. And I did, um, I did IT, I did sales, IT sales. Yeah, you did sales. Uh, you were a pastor. I was a pastor for that. Um, yeah. Um, the Mike Nork. Um, what would be a dream overlanding trip for you? This one coming up, honestly. The the dream trip is Baja. the one that we haven't been to before. Um, Baja, Baja, Alaska is a big and dream trip for me. Pan, 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 Pan American Pan, Highway. Yeah. Um, yeah, Baja, Alaska. Costa Rica. Uh, Costa Rica. I'd love to go to Costa Rica. Yeah, Costa we actually Rica. Made, you may be seeing that too. Megishon. What's the best website to check on burn bans? Um, I I just go to the National Forest for that. But um, actually, our, our friend Danielle answered this. Arc Arc Gis. Dot a -R -C -G -I -S dot com um, shows them all on a map. It's a good one. Uh, but Gaia GPS has a wildfires overlay that has how, current. How quick is current. that? Is yeah. It? Oh, okay. I don't know what data. I don't know where it pulls from. But yeah, uh, Gaia has a wildfire overlay, so that's super handy when you're out and about. Jaffock, Jaffock, whatever. 1971. Uh, are you ever going to plan a trip to Pennsylvania? Uh, yeah, at some point. Uh, my mom actually. Lives, my mom actually lives in Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania is beautiful. You've never been there. No. It's it's a gorgeous state. I don't know. I don't know how overlandy like, what, it was. Other than your mom. Yeah. Um, I don't know how overlandy Pennsylvania is, but it's got Roush Off Road Park, Roush Springs. Oh, that's where that's at. Um, Rush is Rush Roush Springs, I think. Uh, yeah. It's also where Hershey's is. That's where that is. I've been there. Really? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Uh, last one from Frimshire. How do you like your brake upgrade? Uh, my 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 power stop rotors and pads on the front. Doing great. Uh, I've not had an issue with them. In, in muddy environments, in wet environments, um, they're stopping better than my factory ones did. That was weird. There's a bug. I know, I felt it. But it's uh, stopping better than my factory ones did. So, yeah. they're good. I think we're out of questions now. Okay, I have That's a question all there is. for you. Oh, goodness gracious. We did not rehearse this. No, we didn't. What? What's the next thing that you want to do? With your uh, get this tick off of me. With your Jeep. That's the second tick off. Got off uh, next thing I want to do with my Jeep, mm -hmm. um, I'm really ready to do to get the full seat delete. That's what I was going to say. In the back. I'm, I'm ready, ready to, to do the full delete. seat delete and take that other back seat out. Because right now I've just got a 60% delete. But yeah, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to do that. So, Wes at uh, SHW. I'm Hola. ready, buddy. Um, other than that, um, I will go ahead and say... Don't be surprised if there's a tent swap very, very soon. Uh, because the, really? Yeah, because the tent that I've got on here, it's just, it's too short. It, and me six, me being six foot one, I, I got to scrunch up. It's it's too short for are me we, to. Are we gonna be able to, to do this together tonight? Do you think? Uh, we're about to find out. Oh. Yeah, I mean it's it's good. You'll be fine. You know, well, follow we'll me. He's so, a pissed off. He's just laid there like a lump this whole thing. He's out. He's been swimming. He, was, he did. He was paddle boarding today. Yeah. Uh, the, the video for this will be out after the Q&A comes out. So be sure and watch. Subscribe. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. I'm, I'm getting hungry. I'm ready to cook dinner. I'm good. I know you are, but I'm not. So <laughs> we're going to go now. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Um, check out our Patreon if you like what we're doing. And Shop you Orlando Apparel. Be a part of some, some fun events and content and stuff. And shoporlandapparel.com for all of our merch. Uh, for for Will's merch, you're gonna have to go to his YouTube, and and I'm not sure where his what merch comes from. <laughs> um, but for Will's merch, go check out Venture Room. Will get with Shop Overland Apparel. For real, dude. <laughs> um, and that's it. So I'm gonna go cook dinner now. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm probably gonna sit here and hold goose. Bye. Bye.